Okay, the audit equipment set up. You can see the audiometer in the background, the uh, 824 sound level meters to the left. That is connected through an extension cable to the microphone preamplifier, which is then attached to the artificial ear. The actual earphone is inside the artificial ear, and in this picture it's not visible. We have a little black stand which allows us to see, to hold the earphone in place, and then the earphone is driven by the audiometer. There's also a little weight on top of the earphone, which keeps the earphone in place over the artificial ear. The software is actually ran on a PC, which is connected to the 824 sound level meter and does the data gathering for us as we go through the audit software test. To calibrate the audit system, everything is referenced to acoustic calibrator. In this case, the model CAL250 is our reference. We place that over the microphone. There's been a few users that attempt to set the CAL250 on top of the one inch mic. This is because there's a calibration adapter in the way. The user needs to remove the calibration adapter. There's a half inch adapter ring needs to be removed for the CAL250 to fit down over the one inch microphone. There's about a 10 dB error is introduced with that scenario. Okay, here's a picture again, the artificial ear at the bottom. You can actually see the earphone. There's a little spot of blue on the earphone, which is typically used on the left ear. And the earphones that are marked in red are typically put on the individual's right ear. You can see the little stand coming down over the earphone and the cable exits through a slot in the stand. And then the weight is put on top. You do have to remove the headband to allow the earphone to fit inside the coupler. When we're using the Model 824 and trying to talk to a Windows 7 or 8 PC, it actually requires a different adapter. Most Windows 7 PC do not have a serial connection, so the adapter DVX011 allows you to make that connection between the serial of the 824 sound level meter and the USB on the Windows 7 PC.